Why does it start? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قوة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما وصلي اللهم على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين Last week we, stud- we started studying this verse Inshallah before we stop for Salat Maghrib We have to uh, try to understand something of this verse So this verse uh, we study on on why the hearts will tremble when uh, the name of God is mentioned. It means, we say, when the God is mentioned, not the name of God is mentioned, when God is mentioned, our heart should tremble. We made some jokes, you know, how the hearts will tremble <laughs> something shaky or, or mentioning God what uh, what mentioning God will remain remind us in fact we gave the example or I gave the example of, of if I am in a certain situation completely irrelevant maybe to my position to uh, the to this subject of my mother I gave the example so if someone reminds me my mother all my memories and emotions go there and I I see myself in that emotional atmosphere with my mother her memory and whatever the station is, I forget about the station where I am in. Now, in this world, as we are created here, as are made here, we know that this world is the place prepared for me now, but even my existence, the existence of other things, all they are given and we don't know we don't know that uh, they are coming somewhere it means somebody is giving this existence to us this word to us our expectations we the contradiction is this this word is uh, this word looks wonderful perfect but Leaving me alone, passing, passing. I cannot catch it, but my feelings, my human qualities, want, we said, first, etern- per- perfection, the second, eternity, eternal, and full satisfaction I have this feeling and this word cannot provide this but my feeling lets me know or encourages me to look for the source of satisfaction for these expectations and we said that we are not going to uh, study this aspect of the matter you know how can we conclude that God has created us or there is God but if someone says look whatever you want whatever you ex- expect here is a source can do it what do you do you live about this world 
You live about your worries in this world. You leave everything uh, ca causing you fall into despair. Live it. Because do you find the source? You are in a desert and you are completely uh, desperate for everything but you have nothing so if you if you hear the news that a helicopter will come and take you to a place everything is prepared for you what do you do you start thinking about where you where you are going no it is in the future you will go we are not uh, thinking of this matter in terms of time. Now we are here. Of course, we always have to remember that we are conscious of our being. Conscious of our being. Conscious of everything. Now I know that here is the building, here are other buildings, and you are here, I am here. And I might, I have my body, I have my feelings, I'm conscious of it. And also, I am conscious of my feelings, I am conscious of my expectations. Whatever the human qualities are given to me, I'm conscious of them. I may keep myself busy with something else and forget about them, but in reality, I know what I am forgetting about. I know that. It means my consciousness is essential to my being. So I know that these, uh, these human expectations are not going to be satisfied in this world. But not in this world is the right, ex wrong expression. I don't know today, just now. Not in this world. Not from this world. Nothing in this world can satisfy me. Because everything in this world is transient they cannot sustain themselves let alone they will help me they cannot help themselves they are given as they are given they entertain you if they are not given do you think the tree is going to blossom hopefully soon itself no if they are given they will have it. If they are not given, they won't have it. I can cut the tree, example. It won't have it. It misses that from him. I cannot guarantee myself. I can die now. I cannot really provide anything for myself. My father cannot. He can he can he can die. He died. <laughs> so long ago. But example. But if I find, as soon as I remember or realize the source of my feelings, it is a call from him. Not the word or the this, this beings that satisfy you, but the creator of your expectations, your feelings the creator of your feelings is a promise from him that he will satisfy you. Now you got the news that helicopter is coming and taking you to the best place you, you expect or you imagine in your life. It means you find the source of existence of this world. This existence, source of existence of this universe. And you realize that you belong to him. Don't you think that your heart will tremble with excitement? Not necessarily physical ex excitement. Out of happiness, you found the source. You found the source. Why don't we feel it? Oh, I don't know. I don't feel it there all the time. Sometimes I, I, I'm comfortable. Sometimes, sometimes I forget about it. As soon as, watch out for yourself. Please take yourself seriously. 
your existence seriously. When you forget about the source of your being, you are in trouble. I am in trouble. Let me speak on my own behalf. I have lots of problems. I don't know how to solve them. But all related here. When I come to myself, and turn to myself and say, look, you have those these feelings, you have this consciousness, etc. And where did you get that? It's a very simple question. Where did you get them? They are given to you, aren't they? Aren't they? They are given to you. From where did you get them? It is a missive. It is a message. It is an email for you. I am here. I am the one who gave this sense to you. That is a guarantee paper. Is that guarantee paper? Yeah. Or you have a machine and there is a guarantee. If something happens, we will warrant it. Yeah. It's warranty. Warranty. Is it right or wrong? Which one? Which one? Guaranteed warranty. No, no, let the let the, the native say. So. Okay. Okay, the same. All right. Let the native speak as far as the language is concerned. So I trust you, but uh, the natives know. Yeah. So guarantee warrant, whatever. That, for example, you buy the machine from a person who made it, who made the machine. And he says, if something happens, bring it to me, I will repair it. It's the, I'm the one who made it. Promise. If you really rely this man, example, of course, this is just a metaphor. So if you really trust this man, if something happens, do you bother? Do you worry? Well, I'm going to take him. Uh, he guaranteed. There's a guarantee paper. So this sense, expectations, this sense of hope that I want this kind of life, but it's, it's not provided by the word itself. But the one who gave me existence has provided, has given me all the senses. And this census is the uh, warranty paper. Do you understand that? As soon as something happens, you panic. As soon as you remember that, what? Oh, the one who said, the one who sold me this, guaranteed that if something happens, I'm going to repair it, bring it to me. Oh, you become, suddenly you change. That is trembling of heart when God is remembered. But unfortunately, what, uh, what is the problem with us? We have, I don't know, a funny concept of God. <laughs> funny means something who created the world, nothing to do with me, but I have my own problems. I had to solve my own problems. I have, uh, I have my own expectations, right? So when, when it, uh, they say God, I don't relate to it. I don't relate to God. That's why when God is mentioned, nothing happens to me. There is no hope. There is no change. <laughs> because God, if there is God in my life, only this God is the creator of the universe. I don't know who, guy, who this guy is, but he's, he seems to be a huge one who is able to do all these things. You know, fantastic something. <laughs> so I don't relate my existence, my existence or my feelings to him. Do you, do you get this? That's why nothing happens to me. For example, let's say oh, I got we have to pray. Yeah, so. Okay, call Ezan, inshallah. Inshallah, we'll carry on. 
Okay. Stop. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, we can start in time and finish in time. <laughs> so, la, uh, last week also we touched upon this matter a little bit. And anytime something happens to us, we have to remember that our expectations are given to us. Our expectations are given to us. This is as if not only 50% of 99% of the solution, whoever has given you any kind of expectation is the one who is promising you that is promising you that he can give you that's why he gave you this desire this desire itself is the warranty paper but we turn this desire to created beings so we expect them to satisfy this desire although the giver of this desire is nothing to do with the uh, world we cannot really dis uh, explain the source of existence of any of our desires in terms of anything in this thing the world the things themselves no one can say that the cells are the source of existence of my desire no one can say that the particles are the source of existence of my desires any kind of desire any kind of uh, hope or anything that we really aspire for anything well, nothing here in my matter, in our body, in my blood, in my cell, in my DNA, what? Nothing can be the source of existence of these expectations. It is given to me. And there's a, gu a guarantee, warranty paper for me. Just remember who gave you this desire. It is, it is telling you that, find me, find me, as soon as you find me, you will feel that Lewis is there. The example I gave earlier, that you have a very precious machine or tool, whatever, you are happy with it, and you have the warranty paper, what are what happens come to me the maker the producer of the machine promised you gave you the warranty paper and you know that he can do it and he promised you you know that because we know that the one who gave me this sense it is the warranty itself if he is not going to give it to me why did he make me with this desire it is meaningless if we say no no he's not going to give it to me sometimes we ha we have lots of uh, sub matters sub matters that outwardly we all believe in god but underneath it we have many problems we have to solve these problems we have to work on them As soon as I, I re remember that, oh, something happened to my machine, it's not working now. I don't go and ask the machine to satisfy me. It is the one which is, which is the broken one, needy one, needs to, to, to be repaired. It cannot satisfy you itself. It cannot, 
save your own own being everything is transient they cannot sustain their own being so you remember the ah the manufacturer or the producer has given me the warranty what happens suddenly your despair turns into hope i can get another one because i found it i found the source although you didn't get another one right that moment but the news guarantees that you will get you found the source that is what the verse is saying whenever god is mentioned it means you remember the warranty paper the desire itself is given to you the one who gave you the desire he can satisfy as soon as you get it and whose faith is strengthened when whenever his messages are conveyed unto them it means the message is images has arrived now to you that he can give it nothing in this creative world can give it to you as soon as you get the message you are relaxed because the really understanding i wouldn't use the word belief on purpose because we say we are all believers we don't know what we believe in that by the way that's something else <laughs> but i don't not saying you are not believers no no we don't know what we believe in really we, we say that we believe in god we don't know god is really we've never thought about it just cultural thing you know in our culture <laughs> not something we hear usually usually not necessarily muslim christian or jewish or buddhist culture any culture these are culture we just hearing hearing not internalized not really assimilated within our own being we are not with it it is external information it is good it's an invitation for investigating investigate the source of your belief what what it means for you what does it mean believing in god for you ask this make it real for you it needs reflection it needs deliberate contemplation really it is not it is not difficult but it is not as you hear in the church in the mosque i don't think so it's not what you hear it must be within yourself you work on it concentrate on it reflect on it what does it mean that i am created of course i always ask this question what does it mean that I exist? I am. All right. I am. Do you understand? I to be. It means I am a being. Where did I get it? Where did I get the qualities that I am experiencing in my existence? No one can teach you this you have to reflect on just really reflect on your own existence reflect on your the existence reflect on the existence of your human qualities it means yourself religion is not art religion is in you discover it like this verse revelation just reminds you calls you on duty just calls you on duty come on think about it any news that we hear from the revelation 
is just a reminder for me what I have already within me to discover it. Think about it. If you get 1% of it, you will see the light. In your existence, you will understand that, you know, I am the best witness to my creator. And this witness is the, my consciousness, awareness of my being. Just be aware of yourself. Don't go and say that your, your mother told me this, your brother or sister, whatever the family problems, or everybody has. I'm not an exception. So. <laughs> so these kind of problems, you say, oh, what am I going to do now? I'm, you know, my, my, I, I don't have a stable job. Or lots of problems. These are nothing to do with your reality. These are just side work. <laughs> you know, just do it and forget about it. Do it, or whatever you want to do, do it. And uh, don't expect any satisfaction from any of them. If you expect, you are cheating yourself. If you say, okay, well, I've got a full-time job, secured for five years, I signed the contract, that's it. Uh, I swear by God, you won't overcome any of your problems. It's a temporary cheating yourself. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't get it. But you can find the serenity, you can find the calmness and peace only when you recognize or acknowledge your creator within your own being, your own consciousness. You will work on it. No one can teach you. You will work on it. Whenever you have any sort of concern, any sort of questioning, anything, just say that, what am I in this world first? Why do I bother? Who am I? Just think about your own being. You will realize that really your God is, if you like, but misunderstand, not misinterpret in your own existence. It means in your existence, in your own being, is your in your own feeling, you will find the creator of this feeling. Otherwise, hearing from others doesn't help. They are temporary. They are temporary. You know, like if you are in a trouble, someone comes and tells you a cheerful story or makes a nice joke, and you, you temporarily laugh at it and forget your pr problem for a moment, or those people keep themselves busy with, I don't know, I don't know, maybe listening to a music or gambling or drinking alcohol or going and uh, visiting a friend and gossiping together, just disper dispersing his interest in the matter, forgetting about the rea his own reality. He thinks that he solved the problem. I was young, like you. I was invited to a party by my, one of my school uh, friends. We were staying in the same school. I went there, the people were all, were all happy. To, talking to each other, the music was loud, keeps you busy. Yeah? Don't concentrate yourself. Don't, don't let you be yourself, okay? And at the end, the, the, the person who called us for a party, organizing a like that hall uh, in a college setting, university setting it was. So we had the, all the tools on the necessary gadget organized or provided by the school. It was cheap and good to do it. So 
this friend of mine was nice and uh, sort of close to me so i stayed with this friend of mine to help him uh, to, to tell to help this person to wrap up you know i would say clean after yourself you know make everything tidy and leave the room so that next time when your club applies for the room they will give you otherwise they won't kill you that's the condition if you leave it dirty so so okay i it is our duty i wanted to help okay afterwards everybody went believe me this friend of mine started crying everything is over and finished and nothing is left Nothing was left. Everything is over. That's why those celebrities, they can live only either on drug or consumption. Everything is over. Nothing is left. The world or the, this created world cannot give you anything, make sure. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't get, you should eat. No, the satisfaction is not from the food that you eat. Satisfaction is the creator, is from the creator of the food. When you acknowledge him, he is the one who created the food and let you know he is providing it and calling you. That is the warranty paper. I am here. How the paper you received? In the food itself. It is just a paper. Don't say that the paper is going to do something to me. There is a, there is a message there. Whoever his message is, are conveyed unto them, they are happy. They say, oh, I know who is my Lord, who my Lord is. Experience that. Stage one, never forget your existence. You exist. You cannot deny that you don't, but <laughs> you exist. Stage two, never forget that you are a conscious existence. Existence. You are you are aware of your existence. Stage three. Never forget that in your, within your existence, you have all sorts of desires. Stage four, the, the giver, the cre creator, the provider of these desires are your creator. They don't belong to you. Those, those desires belong to him. They are the warranty papers to you, to me, to you. That's how I solve, I solve my problem. That's the way I solve my own problem personally. I just stop. If something happens, everybody experiences lots of troubles. I do. You may not, but I, I do. Stop and just not an hour, no, no. One minute, if you do it continuously, it takes you three seconds. Where I am? Who I am? What's going on? What does it mean? Just three seconds. Oh, you say that there is a one who gave me the warranty paper. I'm going back to him and taking my machine and said, prepare it. You can do it. And when you find the source, your heart goes into a completely different world. That is trembling of heart. Ah, where are, what, why I was worrying for nothing. That was a call for me to remember him, to, to remember the owner of your being. Why I, I was crying on the machine that it is broken. Yeah, it happens. It is broken. It's going to be renewed by, by the warranty. I can go here. This is a temporary place 
to get to know him. This world, this life is a temporary place to get to know the source of the existence of your expectations, your aspirations. This is the world. We are experiencing it, we are conscious of it. If only we concentrate on it. Don't go out. Don't go out. Of course, there are some advice we hear from the narrations of the prophetic message. There are the advice. Like, uh, when you are in trouble, something, go and pray to Rekha Sunnah. What does it mean? We think that the praying to Rekha Salah, Nafla Salah, we think that the act of praying will save me. We mentioned on, on many occasions in these classes, the act of praying is not the purpose. Praying is the purpose. Act of praying is the, if you like, mold of it, the cup of it. But the water in it is going to save you, not the cup. So, but you carry the water in cup. So pay attention to the praying notion there. Don't pay attention to the act itself. So from the act, you get nothing. But in this act, there is water. What is that? The consciousness. Turn to God, say, Only from, for, uh, uh, only we worship, only witness, you are the one who issued the warranty paper. Yeah, you are the one who issued the warranty paper. I acknowledge this. That means I worship you alone. And I seek help, aid from you alone. It means I am going to take this paper and come to you. Come to your shop. You will give me another one. Because you can give. That's, I, that's the process I acknowledge. What was the first stage? Four or five? Four. Four. Know that your senses are the warranty papers from the one who issued them within your being. And stage five. Lay your trust in him. Nothing else. Experience that. It is, it is you who are, good, who are going to use it or, or practice it. No one else. So, and who in the Lord place their trust? Inevitable. You cannot trace, uh, place your trust in anything else. Everything is transient. Even the empires collapse, let alone your company. <laughs> Empire, emperors die. <laughs> yeah? And the world itself cannot sustain its own existence. Everybody it runs away from this reality. So well, I, I heard something recently. <laughs> Somebody says, you know, the, oh, the trees are wood and wood is carbon. That's why when you burn them, they turn into fire. So ridiculous. So carbon is giving you fruit, huh? giving you taste, making you feel happy, giving you the warranty paper. Carbon is producing the warranty paper. It itself is subject to be burned, turned into fire, turned into fire itself. It cannot save itself, <laughs> let alone it to save you. It is a made thing. So they don't really concentrate on the, the, the fact that the things themselves 
are given existence. Their existence is dependent. They cannot sustain their own existence. They don't mention about that. As if carbon is there free, oxygen is there free. From where did you get them? No, they are there. They are there. They, they come together. How do they come together? They come together. That's how they, it happens all the time. That's a scientific explanation. It happens always like this. If you don't believe me, go and try. Put an experiment, experiment, experiment on it. Yeah, empirically, you can prove it. I can prove it. Then tell us. They are happening, by, they are doing themselves. Because they take the existence for granted. It's there. So when we say, I have this hope, yes, human beings have this hope. It's natural. Where did I get it? Where do human beings have this? Where did I get it? What is the source of existence of this sense? Everybody passes over the stage, questioning. No questioning about existence. And talking about religious activities, if they are religion, talking about going on Hajj or Umrah, <laughs> yeah. running away from that sense talking about helping others rather than helping themselves, running away from your own reality. Yeah? Never sit and think. They say, come to the mosque, come to the church, listen to the sermons. Yeah? I say the opposite. Go home, sit and think of your own reality, your own existence you will find the truth there. Otherwise, you're going to the mosque or church or whatever to go, I don't know, maybe a club or pub or whatever you call them. Yeah? Running away from yourself. You cannot find the warrant paper out. It is in you. It is in you. These are beautiful verses. Yeah. Look at this. You can trust your, your, you can place your trust only in the one who created you, only in the one who created your expectations, aspirations, whatever the, the uh, desires you want, you have, then he can provide it. Acknowledge it. Some people say, yes, I believe in God. Okay. I, I trust, I, I place my trust in him. Fine. Okay. Then what, what bothers you then? You know, I am not ready. What, what do you mean by you are not ready? I am here. I will be taken away to another place, which is called hereafter. And then I will give account to what? You are going to give an account your life right now what you are doing. You are not concentrating on your responsibility right now. You run away from yourself, go to the hereafter and expect something to, uh, to happen to you. It's nothing but still escapism. I don't, I don't bother about a death, of course, but I am not ready for it. Mm, just cheating himself or himself. You bother about death because you don't have the source of eternity in your existence by recognizing the one who gives the desire for eternity in yourself. So you say, I don't bother, but I have lots of things in. I have to purify them. Well, how are you going to purify them? They are past. Purify them right now by concentrating on your life, your being right now, and realize that you belong to him. That is the purification. If you believe in God, God will not put you in fire. But if you think that this God is going to put you in fire, it means you don't believe in God, man. 
Do you understand self-contradictory? It means you don't deny God. No, no, you are not aware of what God is. God, when you acknowledge it, in your acknowledgement, you are attaching your being to him. That's what he wants from you. Acknowledge that I am the one who owns you. Acknowledge that I am the one who owns you. I am the one who gave you your existence and you acknowledge me, that's me. Why are you thinking of another place that you will be punished or rewarded? Your punishment, your reward, in your acknowledgement, your reality right now. If you believe in God, he's not going to put you in hell. He promises. He promises. I'm not going to put anybody who believes in me in hell or punish. Because the pu punishment lies in your not acknowledging it. It means the hell is prepared for the unbelievers. If you believe, why, do you, why are you afraid of the hell then? But I sin a lot. It's past, concentrate now. Concentrate now. As soon as you acknowledge your creator right now, in your acknowledgement lies your, asking for forgiveness, lies your repentance, and this is the guarantee paper. Your creator gives you. When you find me, you are saved. So don't run away from yourself. That's the conclusion with that. When you remember God, your word will change. Of course, this word is really troublesome by itself. If you don't see it as created, it has an owner, and there is a message in his existence. You are here not to get from the word. We are here to get the message sent through the world. Always be confused. As if I'm going to get the... Uh... I'm sorry. It's all right. So, as if I am the one, or, or, or this world is going to give me something. This world is the place where the message is written. The book cannot give you meaning. The book itself, nothing. Paper. If you want to get something from it, you have to conclude. You have to. What do you do with the book? Read. Look Sorry? Look beyond. The book. Read. No, read the book. In the book is the meaning. This is the message. So we think that the word itself, the book itself is going to give me something. If you carry the word in your pocket, sorry, the book, the book, in your pocket for 100 years, do you benefit from it? Let's say it's the best word in the world, the best book in the world. Do you get any benefit from it? You are carrying the book. This universe is a book where the meaning is written. Get in touch with the meaning, not the word itself. The meaning gives you the message about it is creator, it is maker. You will learn what the message of the maker is only if you read it. So, uh, so whatever happens to me and to you, we have to sit and read the meaning in this event. What is the message? Don't lose yourself in the event. Look for the message inscribed in the event. As soon as you get the message, what happens? whose face is strengthened whenever his messages 
are conveyed unto them. But unfortunately, what we do, practically speaking, those people who don't believe in any in any religion or sacred things or scriptures or this kind of things, spirituality, anything, they want to get the benefit from the word itself, the book itself. Yeah. It means if they get the food, they say, that's it, I am happy now. I'm lucky, I am happy. I got the food. And I will try my best to secure my food for the evening as well. This is the lunch time for the evening or breakfast as well. So the fridge refrigerators are food to secure. Okay. Those people who believe in God. What did they do? I have a problem with my mother-in-law <laughs> or with my neighbor or with my roommate or with my, not wife, husband. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so with my husband, I have a problem with my husband. So rather than looking at the, pro looking at the meaning that the message is conveyed to you, in this problem, what we do? Leave the book there because it is meaning. It has a meaning. And go do some religious activities. What are you doing? I'm going to pray and you know, leave this world. I'm going to be religious. Religion is there. In the book, the event itself brings the message to you from its creator. It is for you. Take lesson from it. Get the message from it. What is the creator is? What is the creator tell? What the creator is telling you in this event? But creating this event, just remember what you want. He is telling you, come to me. Come to me. Your mother-in-law calls you. Example, example for those people who are married. Your mother-in-law invites you and provides, pro gives you, provides you some nice food and afterwards expects you 100 times more from you. Is it true? <laughs> so, mother-in-law, Miss Troublemakers, company, <laughs> you know, company, no, yes, yeah, company, company. Do you think that the company is giving you money? Huh? But sucks you 45 hours a week. You are the slave. Yeah? But that gives you something temporary. So really nothing in this created world comes to you as a source of hope. Nothing, but everything is provided for you like a book so that you will read it and see the message in its existence and refer to the creator, the author of the book. The, because the meaning is from the author of the book, not from the paper. Don't expect anything from the paper. I don't know that if you make this analogy, it, it sense of, the sense out of this analogy it is it helps you there's a paper here let me let me see what is written in it do you have a problem in your or anything so let me see what is the message in its existence you can solve your problems because it calls you to the creator to the creator of this event and it says come to me come to me it's not the paper me is the source of the meaning you are getting from it. So this verse, because when you read the uh, when you read uh, the ayat, what is that? Those people who are who know Arabic a little bit, it means what is that to lead I alayhim ayatuhu zadetum imanem. We say this ayat is the sentences written in the Quran. So when the sentences are written in the Quran, when you refer to it, some people say, 
When you refer to them, I don't understand. Because you don't understand the Quran. Even you understand the Quran, the very event is the ayah, is the sign. Because it is created, it is created by the one who creates the universe, and it is a message carrier. It carries the message to you. See the message in it. So, a lot to say, these kind of verses, but I, I would like to go one, one more. Is it enough? Or do you have any question? Does anything bothers you? In what I said? Okay. I think you, you asked before. Okay. Yeah, because you said something at the very beginning. Um, you said that uh, the the feeling that I have or the um, um, wh whatever um, needs that I have, they, they are um, in a way or form a promise from the Creator that, that provided or that made into existence what I'm feeling. Um, and you said that he he's saying that he is capable of giving me what I hope for, but but where where do we get the idea of that he will give me? I mean, he may be capable of it because he's the source, but that doesn't necessitate that that he will give it to me. He is the one who is giving this sense to you. Right, I can understand that. That's it. But he will. You are, are you expecting to die and you will get it? No. As soon as you find him, it means well, the analogy, uh, but that I couldn't explain the analogy. As soon as you find him, that is the guarantee paper. That's guarantee. What do, what do we want here? If I get this machine, I will be happy. No. He is not promising the machine. The desire to have the machine is given to you by the creator of this desire. When you find him, when you remember him, when, when it comes to your mind that, oh, he is the one who gives me, he is the one who creates the universe. He is the one who is my owner, who is, he is the one, the owner of the sense. He is the one who owns the sense. Then he is calling me to acknowledge him. As soon as you acknowledge him, you find, what else do you want? You want to machine? You want to machine? Machine itself is transient. You yourself is transient if you don't take the creator of everything including the machine and you and your feeling into account you lose you have no hope everything is transient that's why this universe is beautiful in it is being transient subject to continuous change why telling me don't come to me i cannot help myself it's beautiful. So God keeps telling us the Creator is continuously reminding us that this world is not going to respond to your needs. Definitely you will leave this world. It is going to be destroyed. It means don't put your trust, don't place your trust in this world. You cannot get it. What am I going to do then? Find your owner, your Lord, your real boss. When you find your God, that's it. You found it. If you say, if not you personally, if one says, I found my God and still I have I am having a trouble with this thing. You know, it disturbs me. It means your heart is there. You are still expecting that this machine is going to satisfy you. This is not its made thing. <laughs> it's not going to satisfy you. It means your attention. But in this type of life, you need the machine. 
but it's not going to satisfy your human need, which needs eternal happiness. But only the Creator guarantees it, can guarantee it. When you find your Creator, you attach yourself, your being, your feelings, everything to Him, you found it. That's it, I belong to Him. Finish. But of course, we, we expect that, you know, I want this machine. Where is the machine? Where is the machine is broken in our example? I was talking about the what eternal. Happened? No, no. I, you said eternal happiness. Yeah. So I, 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 I expect eternal happiness. I want it. Yeah. Um. I, I can understand that only God or the only Creator. The one, only the one. Only God the one that. Only, only the one. Only okay. the. Only the See? one that gave me that feeling. Yeah. Can and give me one. and can be the source of that eternal happiness. And but he is the one you find it. I'm completing it. Don't go another one. Because always we say that, you know, I want something. So he is going to create something to me. And through this, I will be satisfied. There is only one place that we can get satisfaction. Finding God. That's it. God is your owner, owner of your existence, owner of your being. When you find God, you are secure. Don't worry about the hell. You are secure. Why? Because you belong to God. God is not going to punish who accepts seeking refuge in him. Can you imagine? Even the Quran says, Quran says, if a Muslim asks you for protection, accept it. Don't reject it. In this world, in our relationship, give him secure place for him. And if he wants to leave you, ask him, where do you want to go? I want to go to my own country, to my own family. I don't want you. Okay. Deliver him to the safe place he wants. This is God. If you, if you ask protection, istijara, you know the word in the Quranic word, istijara? Istajir. Give him protection. If you ask protection from God, he will say, no, 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 I don't want you. He gave me the sense to protect the needy ones. He is the one who is the giver of the sense that I love protecting the needy ones. If you help a person, a child, an orphan, for example, he is happy, what do you do? The first thing you go home, tell about what you did to your wife. You are so happy. This is the sign of the creator of this happiness that I am so happy when you do that. You will find it, you will experience it. Why don't we experience it? I am not, I'm not here to accuse you, including myself, that we don't really believe in God. We don't know what believing in God is. I mean like a... Not everybody is going to find yes, God. Everybody really. who finds who finds God finds light. That's, that word means this. Not arbitrarily. God is not stupid. Then I'm not going to give it to you. I like you. Yeah, come. That God doesn't play games. This word says, I am the source of light. I am the source of hope. It means if you find me, you find everything. You find everything. The problem is in our understanding. Uh, the problem is in our understanding of religion. The problem is in the way we read the sources. The problem is in communicating with the sources. Believe me, we don't know how to read the scripture. We read the scriptures as an, ex as an external source. Your turn. I'm just wondering, does it matter what language you read the message in? Because it's, I've just been, I've been told a lot that you have to read it in Arabic at some point in your life. What do you mean by uh, ayah? The ayah is sign. 
Sayin means anything which is created. No, I didn't say Quran. I didn't say the Quran. It is also something here that we are communicating. But first, if someone, someone, a person, cannot read the message in something which is created in front of him or her, or within himself or herself, how can he expect it to read the meaning in the speech of the Creator? It is impossible. Forget about this. If you don't know how to read the creation, you will never know how to read the Quran. This is the problem. What we do when we were, if you are coming from a religious a family background, when you were a child, they teach you how to read the Quran. They said, I know how to read the Quran. Okay, it means nothing. If you don't know how to read the message of the Creator in every act of creation, how can you going to read and understand his speech? It's impossible. The problem here is, is here. We have, um, uh, we have to talk a lot, if you don't mind, because we need to refresh our mind continuously. Because our understanding is uh, of religion. My understanding was that as well. I'm not uh, born now. So I went through that stage. Our understanding of religion is totally external. So learning how to read the Mus'haf, which is called not the Quran, Mus'haf, the book, the papers, and written something there, learning that, and maybe learning Arabic, the meaning, you get the meaning of the sentence, not the message, not the message. In order to get the message, you have to train yourself in another form. This form, this another form, can only be possible if you learn how to read the message in the act of creation. If you don't, if you, you, you mean, me, don't know how to read the message in the creation of, I don't know, anything, anything, in a baby, in a child, innocent examples, take a, a flower, get a rose. Put it on your table, in your room, and look at it. It is something lovable. What does it mean? There's a message. My creator loves you, entertains you. If you don't read the laws, don't bother about reading the Quran. Forget about it. You cannot understand the Quran. Do you, do, you, do you see what I mean? <laughs> your reality is here, and especially yourself, 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 yourself. If you don't think and reflect about your own existence, the existence of your qualities, human qualities, how are you going to communicate with the Creator through a book written there and you will try to understand the meaning through using the dictionary. Ridiculous, don't to see that. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't read the Musa. But we have to go through once stage one, two, three, four. Then when you read the Quran, this verse was one, one example. Can you read this verse without referring to the creation? Without referring to your own human qualities that are created in you, you cannot get anything out of this verse. You say, somebody will say, Allah, you will say, Janna, Janna, <laughs> Excited, because you heard the voice which pronounces Allah. It's nothing to do with Allah. It's just a voice. If you like vibrations of the molecules of air, be careful. 
Why? Because we never relate religion to this world. Why? Because we have nothing to do with this world. We are getting uh, ready for the Akhirah, the, uh, the hereafter. That is religion. This world, this world is for those people who are rich in Manhattan, running in the world of Wall Street. Because you don't have money, you are sorry for it. You are, you know, uh, jealous of. <laughs> so you, because you cannot get it, you say, "Ah, it's dirty. I don't want it." Because you cannot get it. It means it's nothing to do with religion. If someone ignores the universe and his own existence, he should forget about religion. Too radical. Yeah, so radical. Yeah. I personally am convinced about it. Whatever I do, even when I read the, in my personal experience, you don't have to repeat it exactly the same. You, no one has to, no one can get the same experience. That's my word, that's your word. But I'm sharing my experience with you. Even if I read uh, the verses from the Quran, I really get excited sometimes, really get excited. My, my the happiest time is if I discover something in the verse. Happy. I, no one can stop me from loving. Anyway, happiness. Okay. I can only understand the meaning of the verse when I refer it to the creation. But the creation includes me, too, as my existence. Do you understand? Only the verifying, the universe is the source of verification of your Lord. Who is your Lord? Here is it. His action is there. Demonstrating. I am in the exhibition of, of the art of my Lord. I am one of the part of this law, this exhibition hall. Can you imagine? You are the part, the element of the exhibition hall. You are conscious of it. It's very interesting. You are conscious that you are being here. Yeah? Use it. We have the free will. Either use it or ignore it. Make the decision. I think we have to we have to refresh. That's my experience. When I was young, to, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, I was religious. <laughs> really. Trying to memorize the Quran, learning Arabic. I was very eager in learning Arabic. You know, classical Arabic, my my, my favorite everything so i never missed the prayer etc i remember trying not to look at the girls but it was not always <laughs> successful <laughs> Deal, eh? <laughs> so i was religious okay later on i realized that well because it was okay for this age a preliminary stage of making something but I understood that, oh, oh, yeah, that was okay, that was okay. For this age, I realized that, look, as long as, later on, of course, I don't pay attention, the act of creation of my law in front of me, take lesson from it, get the message from it, I will never understand what the Quran is teaching me. Because I understood that what I was learning from the Quran was a formal, formal knowledge, education, religious knowledge. So I was an imam and teaching people <laughs> from the Quran without referring to myself. Yeah, taking from the Quran and selling to others, like an, uh, you know, uh, store keepers. They buy from the wholesale and sell to, to the others. They don't eat themselves. <laughs> like that <laughs> so i i said oh no 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 now let's say whatever i did but example just to help you that you have to come to yourself 
you have to internalize the religion not in a in an ambiguous vague hard to understand spiritual type no 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 your existence including your existence of your senses anything in you whatever happens in you that is an act of creation we think that the act of creation is only the trees the mountains the air the light yeah act of creation we never think that my reflections my thoughts are also acts of creation because they are created beings they could they exist as well your feelings exist don't they right this is created they need a creator of course we think that we are the creators of our feelings we are the users of our feelings either use them properly or abuse them own them there's no god there's no god in using in your own name when you don't attach yourself to God, you are in trouble. Your feelings are the source of your trouble. Your expectations. Why this friend is doing that? Why my job is not doing that? Why I am always in trouble? Why I am always in financial crisis? Lots of problems. Because you are looking for happiness in the objects which are created. You are not taking the meaning, the message in them. The Creator is telling you, come to me. Come to me. When you find Creator, happiness is there. If you are with God, you are everything is yours. You are with your Lord. What do you want? You acknowledge it. You are not going to get old. You are not going to die. Why? It is not you who is dying. It is the pilot of the plane of existence. He is taking me away from one airport to another. From the childhood, the babyhood to your childhood. From childhood to your youth. Taking you. Taking you as a journey. You are traveling. In your own life. It's not you who is going. You are just sitting here. Yeah, somebody is carrying us. Not the earth is carrying me. Earth itself needs to be carried. Yeah, the pilot of this universe is your owner. And he is going to give you childhood, who gave you babyhood, or as a fetus in the mother's womb. And he, he is not you. You didn't create yourself in the in mother's room, womb. That's no, not the room. <laughs> mother's womb. And then it is not you who who gave you existence as a baby. It is not you who is giving existence to you right now. In your existence, what do you own of your existence? Think about it. Tell me one thing. I own uh, of my existence in my existence this is it belongs to me everything is given to you you are just using them. nothing more nothing more right just find the source who gave them to you you belong to him so simple happiness is in the trouble itself in the problem itself just read it inshallah so i cannot go to the second verse i think this is late mm. oh, actually we discussed a law and very fundamental matter today if you think about it it must be a revolutionary thing for you 
it must change everything upside down in your life, especially your understanding of religion. The problem is always in our understanding of religion, in our expectation from religion. We think that, you know, if I am a very religious man, now I miss the prayer, I will be the happiest man. Do it and see if you want. Only if you really realize what the prayer includes in it. Acknowledgement of your Creator. I summarize it. The prayer is, You alone are worship. We worship everything worship. You, from you alone, we expect help. No one, nothing else can help me. Only you, my own, of my expectations. You can help. The feelings, the summary of today's discussion, or whatever you call it, the feelings themselves are the warranty papers who created those feelings. This is funny, but this this is very touchy. This this verse, this kind of verses are very touching, very teaching and touching, touching the heart. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Did anyone wanted to ask or add or make comment anything? Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Shabhanakya. لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم وآخر دعواهم إن الحمد لله رب العالمين